When I saw the mixer get pulled up and my mom would pull out the Baker's German chocolate and melt it, it that was home to me. Fast forward, went to work for a corporation, sold a little ice cream cart, always had that entrepreneurial spirit. After my fourth child, someone was at the house watching the kids and she said, these guys are little monsters. From Pennsylvania, I thought it was the funniest thing in the world. I was like, they're monsters. Unemployed, not so hilarious, I thought, what are we going to do for work? We have four kids. My brother, who calls me Mush, said, Mush, why don't you get back into baking? My husband's a carpenter. I said, why don't you guys build me a truck with integrity? Has to have an oven. We have to make sure that we are delivering a fresh, warm cookie to the streets of Boston. Of course, we all love uh, Sesame Street, The Cooking Monster, that's why I think everybody is so familiar with Monsta. Um, you can't drive through the streets of Boston without somebody going, Cooking Monsta, taking pictures of the trucks, and it's so familiar to everybody. You know, we make ice cream sandwiches, loads of ice cream. It's value, it's family, it's what it's meant to be. And I want it to be something that takes you home. This is home to me, and I want everybody for a very small moment in time to have a bite of a cookie and say, that's it. When we think of vulnerability in the kitchen, um, of the fun that she had, of a rolling pin over her shoulder, of talking to the chickens, of patting each of them. The one moment that stands out though, Nancy Silverton and they made brioche. At the end of it, Nancy looked at Julia to ask her how it was. Julia was not responsive. She was almost in tears. A good combination. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's a dessert to cry on. <laughs> yes, yes. It's so good. <laughs> Thank you. All of us, as foodies and as bakers, you make stuff hoping that people eat it and go, that's speechless is more than saying anything.